Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I blow dry my waist length hair with my Revair blow dryer. I have my supplies, I have some clips, it's my shears in case I see any knots that need to be cut, and then the products that I'm using is a bottle of aloe vera juice, a mixture of neem oil and coconut oil, as well as Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And over to the right you can see that I have my blow dryer. So I just freshly washed my hair. I actually let it dry in um, a towel for about half an hour. Um, and so right now I'm just spritzing it with aloe vera juice to get it moist again. It's about, I would say, 80% dry at this point. So I'm going to take each half of my hair, spritz it, and run the aloe vera juice through my entire side of my hair. And especially focusing on the ends. And now you see I'm grabbing Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I picked up a sample size of this just to try it out, um, and I really like it. It makes your hair really soft. It makes your curls pop a lot. Um, but I, I'm using it today even though I'm blow drying my hair because it really does um, hold moisture into your hair. So you see I'm doing the LCO method. I used my liquid, which was the aloe vera juice, and now this um, curl enhancing smoothie. Now off to the other side, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Once I unravel the twists, I will go in with the aloe vera juice again and then the Shea Moisture smoothie. Now you see I'm taking my neem oil and coconut oil mix. It also has a bit of lavender oil in there as well, um, just for the smell. If any of you guys have used neem oil, it's very, very strong um, smelling. So the coconut oil and the lavender makes it smell a lot better. So I'm just using that to seal the moisture in. Now I'm just going to part my hair to get ready for the blow dryer. I like to start in the back and then work my way to the front. I just find it's easier and I'm just going to um, part as best as I can. Um, it doesn't have to be clean, it's just enough so that hair in the other sections aren't getting sucked into the blow dryer. Just before blow drying, I like to go in very, very carefully with my wooden wide tooth comb. Um, this just helps get the hair a little bit straighter. Um, it may not look like it too much from the video, but um, I am going very, very gently over my hair, especially at the ends. And I did detangle in the shower, so it's a lot easier. Um, and also, like I said, my hair at this point is about 80% dry, so I don't want to um, be too rough with the comb, but just enough to get some of the kinks out. And this is a pretty big chunk, so I'm actually going to split it um, in half and then work in those two sections first. So now I am powering on my Revair. 
it's out of the camera shot, but the base has um, an on and off button. And the suction is already set to seven. That's the highest suction. You can see I'm pointing at the low and the high settings. I'm gonna start with low, and I'm going to use this for about 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna go switch to the high heat and use that for about um, 20 or 30 seconds. So that's a total of 30 to 40 seconds for each section. And my hair gets pretty dry just from about 40 seconds. Um, I know, I believe it's recommended to do a minute per section, but because my hair is a lot more dry um, already, I just spritzed it again with the aloe vera juice. I actually don't need that much time. And also too, because the sections are uh, quite small. Now. This is just something I do, but I noticed that a lot of the heat is coming from the top of the nozzle. So I kind of like to, as you saw, go back and forth and work my way down the hair strands right as I'm wrapping up um, that section. You'll kind of see that throughout. I don't know if it actually helps, but it seems like it, you know, kind of focuses on each part of the hair strand. If I put a little bit more heat very gently and work it way, my way down. Again, this is not what's instructed, but I noticed by doing that, it gets my hair a lot straighter. Now that I'm done with that section, I'm just gonna rake the comb through and make sure that it is fully blown out. There are no knots or any kinks, um, and it, it does a really good job, actually. And I think combing it beforehand helps a lot as well. So now I'm just gonna continue to do that process for each section moving forward. So I'm just speeding up the process here, but again, going very gently with the wide tooth comb. And then I start at the low setting for about 10 seconds. Again, this is sped up. And then I'm gonna switch over to the high setting for about 20 to 30 seconds. And I'm actually using the, the camera on my phone to keep time. Fast forward about 30 to 35 minutes later, and I am just finishing up the last section of my hair. And then I move around the, the nozzle, around the, the roots of my hair so that it can dry the roots more. I will say that the roots are not gonna be as straight, but they definitely get them dry and pretty straight. Here is a view of the back so you guys can just see what it looks like. Um, I love using this Revere. I know it's really expensive, um, but I actually got it as a birthday present from my dad a couple of years ago. Um, it takes about 30 minutes to do and also putting less heat on my hair at one time. Um, so you can see where my hair is falling. If I was to flat iron my hair afterwards, I probably would have left it in for each section longer than 30 seconds um, just to get a more straighter look. But here I'm just gonna do a braid out this week so it doesn't have to be bone straight. So after I was done blow drying, I actually did a quick dusting of my hair. So just clipping off any split ends or any single strand knots that I saw and then I put it in these two French braids. The top of my hair is actually flat twisted and then I braided the ends because I am not good at French braiding. And then I went to sleep. So I actually ended up keeping my braids in for two days. When I go to sleep, I actually pin them around my head and then I wore them out. Um, you know, it's COVID so I don't really go anywhere and just wearing them around the house. Um, and then uh, after two days, I took my braids out and this is worth the result right when I took out my braids. And then this is what my hair looked like a couple hours later um, as it started to fluff out with the heat in my apartment. 
um, but I actually prefer it a little more fluffy like this. So this is it everyone. This is the style that I wore this week. Um, I just braided up each night right before I went to sleep. And um, you know, the red bear is super easy, it's super quick, and I just love using it. I know it's really expensive, but if you can buy it and you like to wear your hair blown out or straight very often, it's a great way to make sure that you're um, not putting too much heat on your hair each time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video in the comments below.